You're not where you want to be. You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. You said it. Well, say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. The point is you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget how to make the most of where you are. What are you telling me? Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. People aren't who you want them to be. They are who they are. And you can't confuse those things. I mean, you can't think that you're going to take someone who is the way they are and change them into who you want them to be. Often when people are embittered and resentful and feel like they're victims, it's because really awful things have happened to them. Now, not always, but often. And so then the question is, well, if you're in a situation and something really awful is happened to you or has happened to you, then, well, why shouldn't you feel like a victim? And is there a better alternative? Thousands have come before you and they did just fine. So quit your complaining. And it's not because you have nothing to complain about. That's not the case. It's that that's not the right approach. The fact is, and this is such an optimistic fact, as well as a judgment in some sense, the fact is that if someone else can do it, so can you. And that's something, right? If you're reading about the great heroes in history, people who are in these terrible situations and you see someone rise to the occasion and then you can say, well, that was a person who did that, and I'm a person, and so maybe I have that capacity too, even though I don't know how to approach it. The dream is yours, but you're saying, I'm not worthy of the dream. You're probably not, but it's been given to you anyway. I'm not smart enough. You're probably not, but it doesn't matter. It was it was given to you, and it's now your responsibility to do something with it. You've been given it. It's the gift that you never opened. It's the gift. It's yours. Do what you say you're going to do, and you make no excuses, and you don't let nothing get in your way. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. No more blaming. No more. I don't want to hear it no more. I don't want to hear this teacher did me wrong. This professor did me wrong. My mentor didn't. My mama didn't. My daddy didn't. Stop the blaming. If it's your life, I need you to take complete ownership of it. It's your life. I don't want to hear no more excuses. You blame, that's what you do. You make excuses for why you broke. You make excuses for why you stuck. And it is easier to make it somebody else's fault than to man up and look in the mirror and say it was your fault. It's easy to put it on somebody else. Why? Because then you ain't got to do nothing. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. People always say, you got to love the work. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to be addicted to what you do. You got to be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You got to work long hours. You got to work smarter and you got to work f***ing harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You gotta work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you say, I can, yeah, you gotta do one more. Cause right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you wanna be great, you wanna be a badass motherfucker ever at what you do, you're gonna be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. Takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. You got to eat it. You got to drink it. You got to sleep it. Like it has to consume who you are. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it, not talk about it. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. People know it. You got to be it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are 
the best of the best. I don't know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. The stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. Michael and Kobe weren't the greatest athletes, but their mindset is what separates those individuals. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you're doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the dog on standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. We are going to be relentless. We are not going to give him the chance to regroup. He will not get the chance to recover. We are not going to stop until there is nothing left to pursue. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up another, make another bad choice. And they make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. You're just too slow. It just takes you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. I didn't get to where I am. But I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. You only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got to kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be elite. They'll tell you they want to be great. But they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. You're not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You procrastinate, but you let you slide. You got to stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough. Until you feel this overwhelming feeling of, oh, man, I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you can know you've done enough. You got to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to second the f*** up and do it. At some point in your life, give every single thing you got. A true dog mentality is not enough to make to the NFL. Be the fucking MVP. It's not enough to win a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough to become a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough to lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, I can't do no more reps, you're saying, I can, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his own. 
Because you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best, I'm a beast. And oftentimes when you're going up against other beasts, sometimes they just want it more than you want it. They're not more talented than you. They just know what they out there for. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to drive you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. There's always someone out there running harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Knowing that that's someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts, forgo sleep, forgo whatever it takes to be better, to be the best. A lot of us have that person out there. There may not be a name or a face to him, but he exists. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. Discipline weighs ounces. Regret weighs tons. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. No more f***ing around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can help you. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today, right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're gonna be proud this year and no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, you burn the boats. Because when you burn those boats, there's no going back. You're going to find a way to make things work. So you got to do your best work when you're the least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to suck it the f*** up and do it. Time is running out. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. And you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become condensed. The day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. Be what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 pounds, be about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning the week, and then you start winning the month, and then you start winning the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You've got to bet on you. You believe that everybody else, you clap with everybody else, you support everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? See, it's about time for you to believe in you because you've got it. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I would rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water. I'm going after my destiny. I've got too much vision. To stay in this rut. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. There's something that you could do that you could think in your life that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody. Because we got you. You're the one. You are the one. So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. 
That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you got to believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are going to improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are going to make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life. And then wake up in the morning and do those things. You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You're going to make them go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You're going to make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time, and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. Your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either going to be a fucking sheep or you're going to be a lion. You're going to be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, bitch, and moan and whine all the fucking time, well, you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a fucking quitter. You have to do something about it. People who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That it hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. I hate when people give 70% but they want the life of somebody that's giving all the gifts. I challenge you, your life is where it is because of the percentage that you give. You cannot bring a tree down by hitting it a thousand times. If you hit a tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, the tree is not going to fall. But if you hit a tree a thousand times in that same exact spot, she don't come to the ground. Your problem is you did hit it a thousand times, but in a thousand different places. You need to do me a huge favor. Stop trying to be deep. I need you to do the exact same thing every single day for the next 10, 15, 20 years and watch that tree come down. And watch you go from zero to a multi-million dollar company to working with the top NBA teams doing commercials. Nothing's changed, guys. I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing 20 years ago. I just keep doing it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday and you might be strong, but by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes that good stuff is going to happen to you. There's only two ways you can be. You can be the person who learns a little bit, who does a little bit, and then who decides that this it really isn't for them and moves on to something else and repeats that cycle over and over and over again. Or you can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what happens in the world, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. Those are the people that are going to win. Regardless of situation, regardless of circumstance, regardless of what happened, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I'm working for something that's totally different. The question becomes this. Can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? I'm talking about grit. I'm talking about endurance. Just having more stamina than they got. In order to get to the next level, you gotta sacrifice. You gotta take risks. You gotta be willing to do by faith whatever you're asked to do. Listen to me, there are no shortcuts to success. There are no discounts to success. It's always sweat. 
It's always blood. It's always tears. You always have to give all to be the best. Yes, it's hard. Some of you are in the darkest of darkest valleys. I don't know what you're going through, but I know what you need. Hope. And I want you to know that beautiful things can come from your broken pieces when you give your broken pieces a chance. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up is not. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You're still here. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they? When they tell you to put all your stuff back on your desk, don't do that, man. Don't do that. When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be re. Relentless. And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say, you can count on me and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The heart of the battle, the sweet of the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You know it was hard, but you did it hard. How many more nights of sleep you gonna lose running around complaining about your life? Stop being a lazy, bum-ass person that's full of excuses, sitting around on the pity party, coming up with every excuse in the world as to why you ain't winning. You are the reason you are not winning. You are the reason you look the way you look. You are the reason you're unemployed. You are the reason why your surroundings are so dysfunctional and negative. It's a choice. You have thought your way into a depression. You have thought your way into negativity and misery. It's all in the mind. Change your mind and it will change your life. It's time you get off the pity party. Stop complaining about being out of shape when you never go to the gym. Stop looking at your stomach when you get out of the shower and your body and complaining about the way you look when you're eating everything in sight and never going to the gym. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through all of that shit that you're carrying. Everybody wants to be better. 
Everyone talks about becoming better, but I'll tell you right now, it doesn't just happen. You want to improve? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet or start a new business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or an app? Where do you start? You start right here. When do you start? You start right now. You initiate action. You go. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. So stop thinking about it. Stop dreaming about it. Stop researching every aspect of it and debating the pros and cons of it. Start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen here and now. It takes courage. It takes commitment. It takes discipline. These are all things that you need to have because let me tell you this. When you do, magic is going to start to happen, baby. It ain't easy to do, but I promise you, it will be worth it. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 40. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight-hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't going to get. You've got to understand it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul, how hard you're willing to go after something, how much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not going to outwork me, so I'm going to catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different loser. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you to the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around. But you can dictate your efforts. You're just being calm when you push. And I'm like, getting your cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep every day. So push. Just push back the back. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. Easy doesn't pay well choose the hard path, the path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice that ultimately leads to freedom. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. People ask me what I do when I get those little feelings running around. Well, let me tell you what I don't do. I don't tell everybody. As a matter of fact, I don't even let those words run around inside my own brain housing group. 
I keep it secure. Lock it down. It doesn't matter how I'm doing. It doesn't matter how I slept last night. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter when the last time I ate. It doesn't matter because I'm going to go get some. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Make the binary code decision. Yes or no? Your mind is your strongest weapon, but you must take control of it. You have to tell your brain where you want to go. When your brain tells you to give in, you push forward. When it tells you to take the day off, you go harder. Don't allow your weak feelings to dictate where you end up in your life. You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. Prove to yourself today, every day, that you can and will push harder than you wanted to, harder than you felt like pushing, past the point of fatigue and far beyond the point of comfort to that outer edge with every ounce of grit and tenacity to where you cross that line, that threshold through the suffering. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. Your mind quits way before your body does. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. Regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Where are the warriors that say, I'm going to make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're going to do. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Listen to me, a nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might not be a lion yet. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuses. And I need you to understand, for those of you who are 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle, that's just enough for that other person, I'll do you. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day, and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick, you gotta do it fast, you gotta do it in a hurry, why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you on, somebody else, they're on the same path that you on, it's somebody else just like you trying to do it, and sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working, they're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood, but you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it, you gotta do it quicker than they do it, you listen to what I'm saying, that's why I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, because if you're getting up at 6, you might be smarter than me. You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm going to get up earlier than you and I'm going to do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. Are you hearing me? It's hard. Yup, it's hard. Yup, it's difficult. Yup, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. It's weeding out the weak. And so sometimes you got to play hard. You got to play physical. You got to play tough because the game itself is tough. The game itself is hard, but I know you got what it takes. Listen to me, this is how you do it over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. 
And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a weekend, you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month, then when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while, and when people tell you crazy, and when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you're rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep looking at your dream. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. There are many people who have lost that fire in their eyes, who because of the experiences of life have said, no, I can't do that. See. You can experience enough pain in life. You can experience enough disappointment in life that he can clobber you to the ground and kick dirt in your face and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way. And you're gonna be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Pull yourself together and quit tripping cause you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. The problem with society now is too many of us on the contract. Contract means when things ain't going right, I quit. When things ain't going the way I think they should go, I give up, I give in. Most of you are not under covenant. Covenant means, look, me and you, if the company go down, we go down with it. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Phenomenally skill is cute, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. At some point, your faith got to be tested. At some point, you got to be tested by life. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to get you but you can get yourself. You aren't given any breaks in life. You make them for yourself. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. You will make it through blood, sweat, and tears. Now is your moment to prove to yourself that nothing will stop you. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. When you have fear, but when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just got to transpose it into, I hope this happened, to I believe this can happen. Doesn't matter what has happened. Doesn't matter what people think. That has nothing to do with you. Here's what matters. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do now? This thought, this vision that you have in your mind of where you want to go and what you want to do. Feel it. Look at your goal. See yourself there. Experience the feeling of achieving the goal, of making the decision, or overcoming the challenge. Experience the glory. How you feel inside. And you can say, I did it. See that happening. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers, that you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened, but you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you and you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now, you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something, something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. 
Life is going to throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they're going to hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it. Grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. Fight your way through this battle. You have what it takes. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. I want what all other men want, but when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the clutch, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. What you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you've manifested. Oh, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. And so here's what I say to you. There are gonna be times that you're gonna be wondering, why should I keep showing up and work for my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two-foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two-foot pot. Now, check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like that. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh- so they're going to judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work their ass off to live their life and lifestyle. (laughs) Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. 
So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me, what else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? People are gonna think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You're out here talking about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture with his success. I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration, but if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your pretensions. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There is no mistake that you can't rebound from. There is no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish. Because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for I know I am fine right path well that the million dollar question I always tell people if you can see sign just like road sign on a highway then you will know you are going to right way but if you don't see any sign, you, if you are wandering without destruction or losing hope, I might mean a little completion 
correction is neat no one stumble into the path of success by accept it always international uh, determined do it's going to necessary i am just about reaching the destination of embarking you see success is a journey not an event every day along the path you are either moving closer you are going to goals if you direct any from them but if you are setting those ten sign you are the right direction i am going to break them down four by one because each only describe the first sign that you are going path to success it's you take full responsible for your life this is what to start my friends thank you for watching like share and subscribe